What's good guys, welcome back to another episode of GNG News. So in the last video I opened up a Rebel Clash Sword and Shield Pokemon Booster Pack. Inside of each Pokemon Booster Pack, just like the one you can see in front of you, you get yourself a green or green and white code card. This code card has a QR scan code on the back of it that you can use to claim a digital booster pack. Check my shorts as you will see some digital booster pack short openings coming very, very soon. In the last pack that we opened, we pulled two cards. This was our first card being a Trubbish. Not the best card and not the best name. But then we got ourselves something a little better. We got ourselves a Dura Ludon. So pretty happy with that one. So without further ado, let's get into opening up another one of these booster packs. This is a Rebel Clash booster pack, which contains 10 cards and a code card that you can use, as I just previously mentioned. Also, don't forget to go and check out Pokemon's website, www.pokemon.com, to check out all the latest and greatest products that they've got coming out of the Pokemon factory. So this isn't one of the latest sets, but Rebel Clash is one of my favorite sets to collect as I believe I've got about eight or nine cards in total left to collect before I have completely finished this set. So, as you can see, Galarian Pokemon are ready to rock out. Rock out with the new Pokemon, crank it up loud and blast out the beat. You'll find Rebellion, Chaos and Punk Attitude Galore in the Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Rebel Clash expansion. Loaded with Pokemon V, um, Pokemon v including Toxtricity V, Double V, Bolton V, Sandakona V and much more. You'll also find a handful of Pokemon V Max, including the final evolutions of the three first partners or starter Pokemon, plus Cop Copper Jar V Max and Dragon Pulp V Max. Take to the stage or the streets with the Sword and Shield Rebel Clash expansion. As it states just there, there are a total of 190 cards in order to complete this set. So I believe I've got about 182, 181. So I've got about eight or nine cards left to collect. So hopefully I can finish them off and get them in this pack. So without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. All right, let's see what's inside this pack for today. If you like Pokemon, go to www.pokemon.com. And if you enjoy watching Pokemon booster pack opening videos, then you can support my channel. Don't forget, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, because that way you'll be informed each and every single time I upload new content. Okay, green code card to start this off for today. So it's probably not going to be the best pull. Shinx up first, 60 health points, being an electric type Pokemon having a move of under pressure. Galarian Yanmas, 70 health points, which is a fighting type Pokemon having a move of Reckless Charge. Uh, Applin, 40 health points, being a grass type Pokemon having a move of Continuous Tumble. Followed up by a Hatney, 60 health points, Psychic type Pokemon having a move of Side Shot. And find a friend, Aracuda up next, 60 health points, being a water type Pokemon with one move of Rain Splash. Followed up by a water type Wingo, which is one of our pulls for today, having 70 health points, being a water type Pokemon, of course. Having a move of Wave Splash and Collect. And what else did we get? We got a Wish Cash. 140 health points have an ability of Submerge as long as this Pokemon is on the bench. It prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks, both yours and your opponent's. Earthquake is its other move. Then our energy card for today was a Darkness type energy, which was followed up by Masquerade, having 90 health points, of course, being a Grass type Pokemon, having a move of Threatening Pattern. I don't know how a pattern can be threatening. And another move of U Turn. Nugget up next, trainer item. You can play this card only if you drew it from your deck at the beginning of your turn before you put it into your hand. Draw three cards. That's a trainer item. And the last card from this pack is a Tranquil having 80 health points being a normal type Pokemon with a move of Gust and Razor Wing. So, not too too bad, you know? But still, thank you once again for watching another episode of GNG News. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications if you haven't done already. Leave a like on this video if you think it's worth leaving a like on. Follow me over on Twitter to be informed when I upload, as I tweet pretty regularly of when I'm going to upload content. And don't forget to go and check out my most recent shorts. As you guys will see, I have literally just gone and got myself some more Pokemon products to open up for you. Some digital Pokemon products to open up for you. So yeah. Check those out, and I'll see you all in a bit. Peace and love.